In my first video, I mentioned that I lost my best friend from university. I said some things during my manic episode and our friendship was over. Well, I decided to give him a call. Why did I call after four years of not speaking to him? It's because I heard this guy. How many of you have somebody in your life from your past where maybe you were good friends at one point and then one day something happened? And when that happened, it changed your life forever and your relationship, and maybe you've never spoken to them again since that day. What I'm gonna ask you to do is you are gonna take this person, maybe you've not talked to them years, and you are going to call them. You're gonna acknowledge how the relationship ended. You say, I'm just calling for one reason. It's been six months, it's been a year, it's been 10 years. And I just wanna tell you how grateful I am for that time I had with you prior to that event. And you were an important part of my life and my team, and I wanna thank you for that. So this got me thinking, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, I'm already not talking to him. Maybe this will bring me closure, whatever that means. This was stewing in my mind for a few days. And then one day I said, fuck it, I'll do it. Fuck it, do it live. So I pick up my phone and I call him. The phone's ringing. I don't even know if this is still his number, but I'm nervous. And then somebody answers. It sounds like his voice. So I say who it is and then there's silence. That's when I knew for sure 100% it was him. So I dived into what I wanted to say. I told him the best part about my university life was my friendship with him. The time we spent slaving away for hours at the library studying, talking about almost any topic you can imagine, including our most personal thoughts. That was the best part of my university life. I said, I really appreciate that time with you and I want to thank you for it. There was complete silence after I said that. So I was gonna wish him all the best and end the call. But then he started talking. He told me that he also valued our time together. And the important thing is that there was no physical confrontation, nobody got hurt. So if I'm holding on to some guilt, then I should let it go. He said, everyone makes mistakes. So mission complete. I did it. I called my old friend. Afterwards, I was playing some Overwatch with a friend. For some reason, I wasn't having fun. My friend even asked why I'm so quiet today. Are you even saying anything? Well, I haven't heard your voice at all. I guess I'm just low energy tonight. I later realized what was bugging me. During my I want to thank you call, my old friend said, everybody makes mistakes. The thing is, during my manic episode, the things that I said, those were not mistakes. As I said in my first video, during full-blown mania, I was not myself. You know that crazy guy you see in public? I was pretty much that guy. My high school friends knew that I was not me anymore. At this moment, he's not Paul, our friend anymore. It's like, is he gonna come back? I heard a webinar where a girl who was also diagnosed with bipolar disorder and had a full-blown manic episode said that it was like somebody else had taken over. It wasn't her anymore. So both times when recovering from my manic episodes, um, I've been quite embarrassed about the things I've said or done. And it really does feel like somebody else um, took over for that time in my life. That's pretty much what I would say about my experience. So the fact that my best friend from university who knows that I'm diagnosed with bipolar disorder thinks that what I said was a mistake, it's disheartening. I'm just grateful that I didn't lose all my close friends. That was a real possibility. I'm also very thankful that I live in Canada because otherwise my family would be broke due to hospital bills. <laughs> You know, initially I was going to do a video series on my bipolar experience from diagnosis to all the crazy shit that happened, but it was four years ago and there are other things on my mind these days, so I don't feel that motivated to talk about it, think about it, write a script about it, so I might just scrap that and talk about what I want to talk about. Hmm. I'll see you in the next one.